There's been heightened security at a junior surfing competition in Dawesville, which has gone ahead just a few kilometres from where Ben Gehring was attacked. It comes as calls ramp up for the government to do more to protect beachgoers. This is our surfer up and riding in white. The WA Junior Surfing title is underway at Pyramids Beach, about five kilometres south of where surfer Ben Gehring was mauled almost two weeks ago. The event, with almost 100 young competitors, went ahead as planned, but there was extra surveillance on the water and the shore. The safety of our competitors is um, of paramount importance, so um, we've uh, got uh, jet skis in the waters, we've employed uh, spotters who are standing on the water's edge. The deaths of Ben Gehring and Doreen Collier in Falcon and Mindari have reignited the shark debate. Surf Life Saving WA today calling for sirens to be introduced at unpatrolled beaches. Being able to see on that siren or potentially have that flashing light um, would be that, that advantage that where life savers are not in place. Technology exists for sirens to be set off remotely if there's a sighting. The limiting factor, the cost. Shark sirens are already in operation at most of Perth's metro beaches, but whether or not they're activated depends on how big the shark is and how close it is to shore. Mandurah board riding president Brian Williams was a friend of Ben Gehring's. He supports better safety measures and believes extra aerial patrols are needed. If there was a shark in the water or he even felt that there was a bit suspect, he would never have gone in the water. He, he was uh, pretty paranoid about him. The state government says it spent $30 million to reduce the risk of shark attacks. Meanwhile, Fisheries says there's no evidence to suggest a monster shark is lurking off our coast. Today it was revealed a hook deployed on a drumline off Mindari this week snapped after coming into contact with something under the surface. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News.